Uh, it did say when it glows red, the evil is released. Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to Lake Ridden. So the developers Midnight Hub actually gave me a game key to try this out. And I was really interested in this game mainly because it's a story driven game and you know I love those kind of games. And uh, the feel of it kind of reminded me of like the vanishing of Ethan Carter or like Gone Home. So I'm gonna read the description of this game. So it says here on the Steam page, you are Marie, a 13 year old girl and the year is 1988. The warm summer is giving away the first signs of autumn. Reluctantly, you join your younger sister and her friends for one last camping weekend. It was going great, but the second night by the sizzling campfire, an argument with your sister ended with her running into the forest. While searching for her, you stumble upon an old forgotten estate. So this game it includes uh, investigation when you're looking for your sister, and also along with puzzles that you have to find through the old estate. So I think it's really cool, but uh, hopefully this has a nice ending. I would like it to have a nice ending, but we'll see. Uh, as always, if you guys would like to get the game yourself, the link is in the description. You can read more information about it there. And yeah, let's get started. When you were little... Did you ever have dreams that felt so real you believed they were true? And you probably did. Hmm. But did any of them really happen? One did to me. A couple of months ago, someone sent me a letter. Someone I thought wasn't real. It all started two years ago, in October of 88. Okay, so she's like 15 when telling this story. Oh damn, it's scary looking. What the fuck were my- where are you? Yo, sis, where'd you go? Uh, do we have to go down here? I think so. Okay. So our sister's name is Sophia. Hey, this is actually beautiful, even though it's a little bit creepy, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, okay, so she just ran through the forest. I had promised to go camping with my sister Sophia and our friends near Baker's Hill. We'd been there many times when we were younger, but this was the first time since I moved back. Hmm. So, oh no, T don't tell me they actually never found her. Yo, that's fucked up. Have they never found the sister? Oh no, I hope nothing bad happens. I was kind of hoping for like a happy ending. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't see any clues so far that she ran through this way, but it's most likely she did because this seems to be the only path in the forest, right? But... You know, sometimes when kids argue and they run away and stuff like that, they don't tend to, like, know where exactly Stay they're there. going. I'll find a way over. What? Was oh, that her? That's her. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, she's not dead. At least not yet. Hey, what's that? How do we find a way over to her? That's so far I away. I woke up in the middle of the night and found my sister's tent empty. Huh. Okay, I, I think I'm pretty sure I can cross this. Okay, one step at a time. You can do this. Come no, yeah, I'm not gonna plummet to my death or anything like that. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Uh, not gonna lie, this is a little bit scary. Okay, just keep going. Alright. The night before, Sis and her friends sat around the dying fire late into the night talking and giggling. It had been tough for her, me moving back and everything, but to run off like this wasn't like her. I just hoped she wouldn't hurt herself. Me too, dude. I hope she doesn't hurt herself and I hope she doesn't, like, die by accident. That would be horrible. Um, how do we know which way we're going? I mean, we did see the scarf, so I'm assuming that's Sophia's. I, I can't help but feel like the, the the developers did say this is not a horror game, but like you know the feel of it nighttime in the forest. It's a little bit creepy. Lake Ridden. Welcome to Lake Ridden. Okay, can I go in here? Uh, hello. Oof, it really stinks in here. Ew. There's a lot of pizza. And uh, what is this? Inspect. Beer? I'm assuming it's just beer. What the hell is- oh, okay, that's like a burger box. Was there just like some random people here camping out? Or is it like a homeless person or something? Uh... 
Okay, October 13th, 1984. I brought the I bought the lodge. This is the last place I'd go, but I fear I have no choice. Hopefully I find some answers here. December 1st, 1984. I found the trail that we walked on on that night. It feels like a lifetime ago. It's strange being here again after what happened. It's so tranquil when it shouldn't be. What does that mean? February 20th, 1985. Some kids were here and I chased them away. I'll have to put up a gate to block the path along the ravine. This place isn't safe anymore. March 10th, 1985. I'm ashamed that I can't recall his face and in my mind. Yet, I remember that night as vivid as I remember yesterday. I wasn't imagining things. This is something he There's something here and I will find it. This is like a monster? <laughs> March 11th. I can't believe it's 50 years ago today. That day still haunts me and I have to write it down. We were just kids when my when I uh, when I and my brother went to the lodge. One night we drank a little too much and my brother wanted to go for a walk. Had not been so drunk, I would have stopped him. Huh. So this is not the first time a kid has gone missing in the forest or run away or something like that. Because she did just say Sophia is not the type to like run away. She was acting weird. So how, there, there must be something spooky about this forest. We came to a clearing in the woods and my brother ran in front of me. The air became colder around me. Then something happened. By some unknown force, he was thrown into the darkness like a paper in the wind. Like something snatched him in thin air. The cliffs cracked down and the stones fell into the clearing. I screamed and tried to get over them, but I couldn't. All those years that everyone blamed me, but I never doubt that I knew what happened that night and I will do anything in my power to get the, to the bottom of this thing. I don't care if people think I'm crazy. Ooh, okay. Well, that's not exactly good, but I guess it gives us some information of like what happened to the sister, right? That's interesting. So people have gone missing here before and i also find it interesting that person the person who went missing was a sibling of the guy who was writing that so or woman i don't even know who they are so note to self change the code when i come back next code is the same as the year he went missing is it a sign i should be careful okay oh hello i found something Finally, okay, so I have to do two to the left, three to the right, two to the left. Okay, two to the left, then three to the right. One, two, three, then two to the left, two. Hey, got it. Oh, hey. All these people went missing here? Really? So there's more than one? Oh, shit. More than one. The hell? Two sixty. Oh, I got it. All right, finally, Jesus Christ! All right, let's get the hell out of here. I knew All she right. was in herself when I reached the other side of that broken bridge. Oh, she's gone. She would have waited for me. Huh? What if she's like dead already, and she's just trying to lead us somewhere? Like something happened to her but i don't know it's just too weird all these missing people the same circumstances happened to them they were acting weird or whatever and they went to the forest and then they disappeared so that's kind of interesting oh there's lights over there what does that mean oh hey anyone in there hello uh empty where did they run off to again people left why what is this dear diary i pulled it off mom thinks i'm standing at uh izzy while i'm really out here with rich he got one of his friends bobby to drive us up to the old lake written cabin apparently they often hang up out here he even knew the key code to the lock gate <laughs> i overheard him talking about uh to bobby about he wants to think he's going to score tonight he's definitely not hoping that i have an amazing night P.S. Rich is so sweet and so corny, trying to seduce me. He prepared the sweetest campsite with colored lights and a cozy picnic. Like from the bad romantic comedy. No way Izzy will believe me tomorrow. Yeah, honey, I think your boyfriend's trying to get with you. Anyway, P.P.S. Starting to feel really dizzy, almost like I'm going to throw up. Just hoping I'm not turning sick. Figures the most exciting night in ages, I can't fully enjoy it. it if sis passed something uh, onto me before I left, I'll never forgive her. E S S S. Did Rich drug me or something? Ew! What? 
I need to stop being so paranoid. He's far too sweet. We have to wait until tomorrow morning before Bobby gets back. To, uh, gets back. This place was way more remote than I thought. Must have had something else on my mind during the drive out here. Which is so worried about me. He hasn't even tried anything. He's a real sweetheart. Good night. Well, the bitch brother and I all kick his ass, even though he's not really here. Later, the young girl was found wandering around the forest, mumbling. Really? I'm not sure what happened to the guy she was with. So I know the went out looking for him, thinking he had done something to her. Huh? He somehow got away. Really? Or did he go missing too? That's weird. Okay. Let's just go. Let's go. That was really creepy. I hope he didn't like do anything to her. But then again, everybody's been acting weird when they get to this forest, so I can't really say uh, if he did or not. What is that? Is that like a thermos? Huh. Bag books. Okay, March 12th. I've searched the old gate. Okay, it's the old man who owned the cabin. It was exactly the same as my, my brother and I passed through here. We jumped over the wall that night, but I'm not an old man now. Continued. I found a small box. I'm trying to get it open. Continued. The box is impossible to open. I'm going to jump over the wall and leave my bag here for when I come back. Did this guy ever come back? Whoa. What is going on over here? There's a gate. Was it like a was a snake? I don't even know. <laughs> um, okay. I think it's missing a piece. Oh, okay, I have to find it. Oh, this is the box that the guy was talking about. I bet I have to open that box, right? It's probably gonna be like, you have to open the box in order to get the piece that you're looking for. Since the old man climbed the gate and I'm assuming we can't, I think I have to open it. Okay, so it's uh, this, 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 and this? Is that- did I do it right? Oh my god. Okay, uh... Trying to remember, is this right? <laughs> Okay, I got that one, so this is the third one that we need. Okay, so it's this. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it! Alright, so this is the missing piece that we need. Alright, thank you! I thought I had to, like, memorize a song or anything, so it's kind of like Simon Says. It's actually good. I actually like that puzzle. That was interesting. Hi. There we go. Gate piece. Alright, cool. There's another glove. Alright. So she ran through here, too. Did she friggin' jump the fence as well? Why couldn't we do that? Ooh, okay, dark, dark crevice, dark crevice. Great. Oh You're man. Probably wondering why I squeezed through that tight crevice. Yeah, actually. But at the time, I just needed to get to my sister quickly. I, yeah, that's true. Quickly, I, I wish. I've been looking for my sister for some time, for that funny, carefree girl who was always so sweet. But you couldn't find her, could you? The hell's this? I think this is just a rock. Okay. Now it looks like we're in Maleficent's garden or something. <laughs> it's all filled with thorns and whatever, but hmm. Alright. Go through here. This is really creepy, just saying. Okay. Another puzzle, I'm assuming. I think the piece is missing. Okay, another missing piece. Uh... Don't know what that means. Let me go over here. Oh, okay. So, do I have to put them in here? Huh. Okay, the triangle thing. Oh, I actually have to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Okay, triangle thing. 
goes there. Can I not put it there? Or is it on the other one? Is that what it means? Oops. Okay, wait. Dear Mr. Construction Worker, I must say that you are acting very irrational. I do not approve of being called ungodly or mad. The lower garden is a perfectly normal place. Leaving this work unfinished will have severe consequences for you. I warn you that I have many contacts and I will send a note uh, to my friend in town who is a barber. Surely you'll have trouble finding a new job after this. Yours in in our? Who the hell is this person? That's rude. Oh, here we go. This is the triangle one, I think. Uh. Oh, shit. No, wait. This is the bottom, right? Is that it? I don't know. Okay, what does this say? Together they make up a seal against evil, yet the they cradle this evil like a child. Okay, there's some demonic shit happening in this game, I think. What the hell? <laughs> Swirly bit, let's go. Break the seal and the evil will be unleashed. Curse the day that the symbol turns crimson. What the hell is happening here? There has to be either some demon shit or it's like some witch magic. Something. Dear Mr. Construction Worker, welcome. I'm Inar, the owner of the estate. If you have spoken to Miss Nelly, she probably ex uh, she probably said exaggerating things about me. I assure you that I'm a quite rational person. Yeah, from your last letter, I'm pretty sure you are. I hope you've gotten plans for the lower garden. The stone pieces are to be handled with great care. I must say that I'm not truly content with having a couple of ruffians around my land, but Miss Nelly forced me to hire you. I would much rather do it myself. With that being said. Uh, with that said, know that I will keep an eye on you. Yours, Anar. Okay, this person is a little bit touchy. What if Anar was like a wizard or a witch? I don't know what kind of name is that, but like, they're a mystical person or they're, they're into some like demonic crap. Okay, more things. Let's see. Dear Mr. Construction Worker, I like how they don't even use this guy's name. I do not see where the problem lies. The stone pieces glowed a little. Nothing more than that. Plenty of things glow. It does not make them uh, them or the lower garden scary, as you said. Just hire new people from town. I hear there's a lot of people hanging around hang around the hospital. Why don't you take some, some of them? Also, leave the puzzle alone. It's not junk. I made it for the kids. Yours and Nar. I made it for the kids? What is this, like, Hansel and Gretel? What the fuck? It's a witch in the woods, and then she's just, like, luring children to come over, and then she puts them in their oven and eats them. I think that's what's happening. <gasps> did I do it? The hell happened? What is going on? Okay, I think I did it. That took way too long, I'm just gonna say that. To follow this light. Right. What the heck is happening now? Uh. It did say when it glows red, the evil is released. What the fuck? That. That makes me not want to go there, just saying, uh, okay, I'm just calling it now, it's demons, it's always demons, I swear to god. <laughs> this is so creepy. Alright, any demons here want to kill me or something? What the fuck, Did okay. Come through there? What? Who I said did. that? I'm looking for my sister, Sophia. Have you seen her? My name is Marie. That's a lovely name. Marie. Uh-huh. I'm Nora. Is the fire talking to me? Um, where are you? Where are you? What do you mean? I'm right here. What do you mean? Oh. What do you- where are you here? Sometimes when I wake up, no one can see me all day. Okay. Must be one of those days. Sure. Uh, what's this place? What is this place? You're not supposed to be in there. I'm not? All I hear is, Nora, don't go in there. What? But it's very exciting that you're here. Thanks! I think I better get going. I need to find Sophia. Another girl. And she's missing? Yeah. Then we'll need to find her. We? Oh, okay, that's... Run up to the house, and we'll see if we can spot her. 
Sure, talking fire. Uh, <laughs> unless it's a ghost, I don't really know. Oh, another puzzle, okay. There we go. All right, let's go in here. Run up to the house, she said. So this must be the manor, the old manor. The garden isn't even finished, I can see. The guy didn't finish his work. I don't blame him, though. Marie, the gate here is locked. But I know the combination. Okay, what is it? You must solve three riddles to get it. Bitch! <laughs> uh, three? Three riddles. The kids hid the numbers all around the garden. What do you mean the kids? See if you can find them. That's now, so weird. The, the missing kids? Hope you're ready. Yeah, go. I can go far and fast, but I always come back down. There is one thing I miss in the estate. It's a beautiful home, but it's too quiet. When I was a t in town, a child approached and hugged my legs. This startled me and caused me to stagger, but when I ran away, I was not furious. Instead, I felt a little warm inside. I shall tell Miss Nellie to fetch some kids from town. This will be marvelous. I will show them my inventions. I can't seem to find my wallet. Ask Miss Nellie about this. So the kid stole the wallet and he wants kids in the house? Okay, were you talking about the swing lady? Nora? Oh yeah, here well you go. Done. But I found it way faster than you did. Can you guess this one? I show the time, but I only work during the day. The sundial! I saw the sundial earlier! Also, of course you know this before me! She was just like, I got here before you! Well, obviously, because you know the code already, lady. You're pretty good at this. On to the last riddle, and no cheating, miss! I sit on Five, the hill. Two. I am made of wood, but I'm not a tree. Five, two. Okay, those are the combinations so far. So, was it the treehouse that I found? I don't know. You found ah. all of them. Now get back to the gate and let's find your sister. Five, two, seven, I think that's the code. You know, for someone who wants to help us find our sister, she could have just told us the number. <laughs> See? There we go. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's get up to the house. All right, I'll finally. Is she like a spirit? A ghost? Or like a butterfly or something? Can I jump? Uh, I think I'm screwed. Uh, Nora, I can't go over the bridge, just saying. Oh, another one of these. I got one! Alright, go to the next one. Alright, last one. Did I do it wrong? Shit. There we go. Is that a knife? <laughs> okay, cool, thanks, I guess. Ah, okay, I gotcha, so I use the knife for this. Okay. So I actually have to bring the board over there and then uh, make ourselves a bridge.
And why are children here? Why did the guy or person need the children here? It's really creepy if you think about it. And uh, Nora, the ghost, spirit, or butterfly, went ahead. I was skeptical of my new invisible friend. Yeah. But she did seem keen on finding Sophia. And I could use all the help I could get. I just. Well, it's just weird. Place, I was sure it was all just a dream. Same. But it wasn't. Ooh, another door. Or gate. Okay, it's another snaky boy, so let me try to figure this out. There we go. Jesus. Alright. I swear to god, if there's any more snake gates. <laughs> Alright. How big is this place, though? It's, like, huge, if you think about it. Finally, is that the house up there? There you are. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. It's more difficult to see from up here than I thought. Yeah, well, you left me. You should go Can't up go to through the there. attic. There is something important up there. The I'm attic? Sure help us find her. What if this oh, Nora was I person... To stay away from there? What? Let's see what's up there. After you saying what are we supposed to stay away from there? Oh my god, what if this is a trap? They're just luring more kids into this place. Or people, whatever. Cause like the even the old man looking for his brother, he came here, right? I don't think he came back. I really don't. Huh? Hello? That's odd. I'll be up there in a minute. Why? What? Okay. Toggle F for light. Ah, okay. Um, okay, that's a doll. This is a little bit creepy. Let's see if we can find anything here. Maybe clues. Okay, this looks just like random spices and stuff. I think. A letter. It's a drawing of a girl with a bag. Okay. Not creepy at all. Uh, what is that? Apparently you're not allowed to take kids from town. They belong to someone else. Then how shall I find kids to live in my house? To run around and cherish? Miss Nelly said that I should find a wife. Ha! I laugh at that. The only woman I ever loved was Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. When you moved away, you took a piece of my heart with you. See? This guy sounds like a major creep. Honestly, hey, I want to take kids into my house. And he doesn't know right from wrong that you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to steal children? Like... There's something wrong with this guy. But yeah, this guy is like totally weird. Why would you think it's okay to just kidnap random children to live in your house to play with your toys? It sounds like you're a pedophile <laughs> or something. <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. Creepy ass attic. And Nora was saying maybe we sh you're not supposed to go up here. Maybe not. Oh god. See any letters or anything? Nope. It looks like just a newspaper. Um oh. Oh, another puzzle. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna look at that after. I just wanna look around first. Oh, I think that's a clue for the puzzle, but I don't know which order it's supposed to go in, you know? Alright, so that's gonna be the end of my quick look for like writing. As you can see. It's nighttime and I have no bed sheets on my bed because I'm doing laundry. But uh, fortunately, when I was editing this video, I lost the outro to it anyway. So that was my quick look for this game. And I will say I did enjoy it. I think one of the downsides, at least for me, was how vague some of the puzzles were. And I'm not saying like they're too difficult or too easy or whatever the case may be. It's just that sometimes you're not exactly sure of like what you're looking at or what you're supposed to be looking at. I think the most complicated one for me was definitely the bookshelf one in uh, the, the manor. I will say I'm very intrigued by the story or like what's happening. So all we know is there's some old man <laughs> who's into like demon magic or something or some form of magic. He wants to have children around mainly because he has a lot of invent inventions and he would like someone to try them out. Or play them and it makes me believe that maybe he's not exactly into the demon magic maybe he just built something was really cool and he wanted someone to appreciate it since he didn't have kids just find it a little bit weird that he thought the best idea would be to kidnap children I don't get it um <laughs> Anyway, uh, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys would like me to continue this during a live stream, I would love to do it. I, I will say, 
it was difficult to record, not because like I had nothing to say. It was mainly because I was concentrating concentrating so hard on the puzzles that I was looking at, and I felt like I wasn't saying much in the video. So I feel like it would be a lot better with a live stream, just so that you guys can like interact with me too while I'm doing it, rather than me staring very intensely at the game. <laughs> but um, thank you once again to Midnight Hub for sending me a game key to trying this out. I really, really do appreciate it, and um, I really enjoy. I'm really intrigued by it. I will just say that I'm really intrigued by it because it's still a mystery of like why are all these kids going to the forest going directly to the house and they don't come back they all go go missing and it's the same case with maria's sister she never came back and if you guys would like to get the game yourself there's a link in the description i left it there for the steam page and yeah remember to subscribe and hit that bell button so you know when i upload the next video and if you guys would like to support the channel on patreon the link is in the description as well all right i'll see you guys in the next video Bye! Wait, Jesus! <laughs> oh no. I didn't- why did you do that? Allies to the main characters. These powerful beasts are known as summons. They are extraordinary beings that can be called into battle by their summoner. They are also depicted as 